Hello everyone and welcome to the Jamaica Prep Vlog. I decided to fuse two worlds that I do enjoy, planner and vlog life. So hopefully both communities will appreciate how my last minute running around went. So let's get ready for Jamaica. <music> Update. I'm on my way to pick up my dress, but I went to Target so that I could get the white pajama set that people have been wearing out as a linen set. But I failed to check if they have the top and the bottom. They only have the top in the size that I wanted. So I had to go to another location and get the bottoms, but I did that later on in the week. <laughs> People, we have a dress. Nice. It's in the back. You can't really see it, but it's there. Trust me. I get my hair redone on the weekend, but it's in the middle of the week right now. So that's why you're not seeing that yet. We really need to pack. We are behind schedule. Good morning. Good morning. Is that a little better? Good morning. Greetings and salutations. I think, I would hope that this video is going to be a weekend in my life. Plan with me kind of extended daily plan with me situation. So I will show you my planner. I don't know when my camera started doing this hazy I'm in a dream reminisce thing but I need to probably clean my lens with the wipes that I never use this is a Walmart tea <laughs> it's a newer one I always have a Selena shirt because I just do that was one of the most emotional movies that my generation has seen. It was one of the most vital pieces of millennial history. I am currently at Target. I just, I have the AC on, so please, please bear with me. Just left getting my hair re redone in the front only. I didn't do around the perimeter because honestly, I wear my hair in a low pony or middle. I haven't put my hair in a bun. I've done a side part, let it out, or a side part and an up, do situation but other than that I don't really wear it in any other styles that would aggravate my hair in the back so I only did the front and she was really quick it was under two hours I want to pick up some last minute things and after that I'm going to Walmart while I'm in this area so that I don't have to bounce around all over the place. Make a video public in like three minutes. So I'm gonna stay in the car for that. And then I also need to actually start packing like enough is enough today. I'm going to pull out the things that I know I want to take. That way I know what kind of laundry I need to do. I'm not gonna do laundry for a regular work week when not working. But today is about my toiletries accessories for the wedding. My hair, of course, I should have made a list and I'm gonna do that while I wait on the time to post my video. I didn't schedule it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to post it today or tomorrow, but I know that while I'm away, I would like to have at least two videos go up. More than likely the reset that didn't happen at the very beginning of the month and the plan with me. If I could honestly do the reset, the plan with me and a day in the life or the sweaty Saturday, that would be perfect. So that when I come back, only thing I'm worried about doing is my Jamaica stuff. Uh, pack with me and then the vlog. I don't wanna drag it out to turn into 19 different videos when really it could be two. of my travel checklist. It is very important that you know whether or not your passport is expired or you have enough pages because some airports or countries will not allow you to fly in if 
your passport doesn't have enough particular pages. Don't ask me why some countries will stamp your passport all the way in the back. I don't know why. Book the flight, order my dress. I made my hair appointment. I got it redone Saturday. I didn't have a nail appointment, but I'm going to be a walk-in. Pick up my dress, I've already picked it up. I need to check some of this stuff off. Get jewelry for the wedding. So the bride has decided that she is wearing silver. So I need to get silver jewelry. I need to clean or wash my makeup brushes, pack my toiletry bag. I have everything laid out on the coffee table upstairs. I need to pack the toiletry bag, pack my luggage, figure out what I'm wearing to the airport and, well, both ways, what clothes I'm wearing to work the Monday after I come back. I don't like to wait until I get back to do that kind of stuff. I kind of want to relax the Sunday I come back and having your work clothes out ready to go, it's kind of one less thing you have to do when you arrive. Schedule two videos. They probably will be planner related videos. I would like my cleaning to be done by five. I do have here tops for my cousins because what I won't do is stress myself out trying to get the right pant size, but I can at least get you some tops. Candy and snacks for kids. We are pressed for time because it is late in the day. So let's run through this. So let's start from here. I have my facial cleanser, eyeliner, travel toothpaste, don't mind my adapter. I have some, okay, I have lashes for this ceremony, toothbrush for me and my mom. I have an eyeshadow palette, dual palette that honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with makeup, but the stuff is here for that. I have men's deodorant because I mean, when you know you're gonna get extremely sweaty, it'll do the job every time. And I quietly go into the bathroom in Orange Theory and use that one anyway. So I have this shade of tinted moisturizer, which is my normal shade. But I did go out and pick up the 370 for the foundation itself. So I can use that for the wedding. I have cortisone cream because I have a fear of dying of bug bites for some reason because I get eaten alive. So I also got repellent, which I will show when I actually do pack because I just picked it up, but it's downstairs. It's a whole thing. Another hand sanitizer because the other ones are to the left of me. Two masks. I want to do one the night I arrive and another one the night before the wedding. Makeup remover wipes. I have my pressed powder. I have my concealer, mascara, a uh, couple of soft matte lip creams from NYX, lashes for my mom, Fenty, the trio. And that's about it. Revolution back here, two MAC lipsticks that are probably too old and no one should be using them when they're that old. That's what the people say. Uh, ibuprofen, just in case you never know. My Fenty gloss, a downy, what is this? Downy wrinkle releaser spray. I have a dewy setting. This is my lip scrub. Yeah, it's a lot, I know, but we're going away for about a week, okay? Can we continue with the chaos? Okay, let me move th this out of the way. All this, all this. These three sunglasses are the ones that I got today from Forever 21. Technically Forever Red, what? Anyway. Uh, these are the three glasses that I got today. Don't mind my throw. But these, ugh, these bad boys remind me of the 90s. Can we just, like, yeah. I got these buttes for my mom. Uh, yeah, yeah. I will definitely take these for a dollar. One dollar? Don't mind if I do. I would have taken two if you had them, but I'm going to swap them out and put them in my Prada case. D Listen, the case is big enough and that's what we got. And these are Ray-Bans that I got from someone trying to swindle their way through life on eBay. I don't have an eBay account, but somehow these were sent to me. 
I got three pairs. I told eBay about it. They didn't have anywhere for me to return them. So these are the glasses that are going. One for my mom because she's not a sunglasses kind of person. And three for me. I feel like that's even. Right. I have... I have prescription glasses. Do I wear them? No, don't say a word. So these, I mean, these are definitely throwback, but these can definitely fit in there and I can squeeze these in there as well. And then my mom's, maybe I should put hers, I should put hers in there and we'll figure it out. Hello. No, I'm not watching Law and & Order and procrastinating with responsibilities that I've created for myself. The packing and prepping was cut short for the vlog, that is, because I needed to focus. I needed to focus on getting this stuff in the bag. And I just kept pulling things, pulling things, saying, oh yeah, this can go, this can go. But what is going? You get what I'm saying? This packing process was a little bit different because this is my first international trip since the panoramic. The last one was to Africa and I plan for those trips a year in advance. For the two months before we leave, I'm pulling things that are gonna go. The week before, I'm pretty much packed. This was a little bit different because I haven't done it in so long. Puerto Rico doesn't count because that was a couple of days and it was around the corner. This one was a little bit different because I wasn't just packing for me. I packed a few things for my mom so she could get some stress off of her. I packed some things for my cousins so that she didn't have to go look for things. So it was just a little bit of extra, you know what I mean? That's why I had to just put the camera down and focus. Plus I only have one camera battery. I'm clearly not a professional. Also decided to go with my purse and rolling bag as my carry-on and personal uh, item versus my book bag and my rolling bag. I learned my lesson. I won't do that again. You'll find out why. I'm okay to talk about it now. Lesson learned. But uh, what else? This was not a trip of a tourist nature. This is definitely one of love and reconnection. My brother is getting married. I'm reconnecting with family I haven't seen in almost a decade because last time I was in Jamaica, I went to Negril. I didn't go to my mom's side, which is where I'm the most familiar. I Typically don't travel to St. Andrew, which is the parish that my dad is from. And we'll talk about parishes and cities and districts in the travel video, but for now, just hear me ramble, please. I don't typically visit my dad's area because he would always go to St. Mary where my mom is from. This time it was very different for her because my dad wouldn't be traveling with her or picking her up from the airport once she arrives. So I know that that was another layer of emotions that she would have on top of going to Jamaica after years of not being there. So I just tried my best to be daughter of the year <laughs> and help make it a lot easier for her even though we couldn't find flights together. I tried to get a flight that would have a layover where she's leaving from, but we couldn't find one that would work in order for me to get back in time for work. To meet in Mobe at the airport and then travel together. Okay, I'm giving myself another minute to close out this video. I did not have to take a COVID test to exit the US, but I had to take one to re-enter. That is something that is a little bit different from what people experienced in 2020 and in 2021, especially coming from the US. Some people coming from Canada had a little extra to do or not as much, but for right now, in the middle of 2022, to exit, to go to Jamaica from the US, do not need a COVID test. To re-enter the US from Jamaica, you do need one. I wanted to at least let you guys know that. I did not get my Jamaican passport before this trip, but hopefully before my next trip to Jamaica, I will have it. That is my hope. I tried to film this earlier and I got a little bit down because I wanted to explain to you why 
I had this extra stress, but I feel like I summed it up already that I'm taking on a lot more responsibility so that I can take the stress off of my mom. New York is home, Jamaica is home, they're my homes. And I just, my heart is happy when I'm there, I'm at peace, I am, I'm just happy when I go to Jamaica. I know that it is bittersweet because my dad will not be there, but um, we have so many other things that will remind me of him while I'm there. And my brother's whole face is my dad. So yeah, so many things, so many things. Let's go to Jamaica. <laughs> 